be lined. I'm going to make some simple pattern, some uh, two panels to cover this window. Uh, it's just going to be two panels. It's going to be simple because it's in the bathroom, and I'm going to use the rods that go inside. I don't know if you can see my window. It doesn't have a frame. It's not framed. It's just so I'm going to use the spring kind that goes on the inside. I don't want to use the um, the rods that go above, you know, that stick out because it's this bathroom. It's just a small bathroom, and I don't want it to be overwhelming. For me, this is my opinion. I don't want my curtains to be overwhelming um, because it goes out to three inches, the frame, like you can see here, the indentation. And so I'd have to, ha you know, put the, the bracket on the you know out here and way above and another reason is because my door if I put the I don't know if you can see if I put the um, bracket up there above and then three inches out it's going to be too close to this door I don't want to be bumping into anything you know I know the bracket wouldn't be down here but the curtains would be way out there and probably shut into the door, you know, get stuck in, somehow blow in there and get, I don't wanna have that problem. So I'm just gonna put them inside and I'm gonna line them. I, the main reason is that I just wanna show you how I line the curtains with the um, blackout fabric because it's getting close to it. Today's the first day of summer and so it's gonna get really hot pretty soon and I wanna put the blackout curtains so it doesn't get so hot. Cause I know last year, uh, the sun really came in and this is the south side of the house, you know, so the sun doesn't come in too much right now But it will in the next few weeks. It's gonna start coming in. So anyway, I just want to show you the curtains I'm gonna go in there and show you. I've already done one panel. I've lined it with the fabric. It's the um, I'll put the link or I'll show you I'll, I'll just put it uh, this type of fabric I put in there down below uh, when I find it because I can't find anything that shows what it is. I'll have to look up what I bought. So um, I'll go in there and show it to you. I'll go into my sewing room and show you um, what I've done. And then I'll lay it out and I'll show you how I did the sides, uh, hemmed up the sides and the bottom and the top. Um, I've used the iron already to measure and then I'll lay my fabric in there and I'll sew it up for you. So let's go in there. So here is the first panel that I've made. I've lined it. This uh, liner has, I don't know if you can see it, but it has like a, like a beige color in the back and on the other side it's white. You can choose either way. With this fabric you can choose either side that you want to use. I chose white because I didn't know if it was going to show through or not and I would like for my white to show up through this here. The back to me doesn't make any difference because my blinds are going to be closed most of the time and it doesn't matter to me. But um, this is the one panel I've made. It's going to I use I did like one and a half to two almost two times the fabric um, of the window. You can make it as you know fluffy as you want or not you know however much you want here if you want it to you know if you just want a straight one just do that you know just this probably one and a half 45 this is about 40 40 my window is 46 and a half inches so oh i probably used 70 inches wide fabric so anyway here we go i made the um i'll show you what i've made for the hem and the top and the sides how i did that so let's go do that okay so here i've made my other panel i've already made uh the panel is the same I've cut it all the same and but I have not put the liner 
and you can make it as wide as you want. You can do whatever kind of hem you want. If you like the two and a half inch hem or whatever kind of hem you like, it's custom. So you can do whatever you want. It's your curtains. So what I did was I just used a one inch hem at the bottom, but I measured two inches extra for it. I ironed two inches and then I folded it under so it just makes one inch. So that's my hem. And I did the same for the sides. It's just how I like it. And then um, the top, since I wanted to, um, since I'm not gonna have any room at the top for any extra, I just made, I folded this down one and a half inches. And then I brought it in a half inch. So I folded it over so that it makes a one inch here for my um, for my rod. The rod is not very thick, you know, it's just a small, I think it's a three-quarter inch or half inch rod. But it'll make it give it enough give when for the liner. When I put the liner, it's gonna be a little bit thicker, so it'll be able to fold in a little bit and kind of squish on the rod so here it goes here's the and I don't know if you can see but this is beige the rod is beige I mean the liner is beige on one side and it's white on the other. I'm gonna put the white on the inside. And I've measured them to where when you when you lay it on, it's gonna be exactly the width and the length of the curtains when they're folded. You know, you don't cut them as long as the length before you fold them because it's gonna, you really don't need to and it's gonna be very bulky. So that's what I'm doing. I'm cut them the same. They're the same uh, this way and then they're the same that way, the, the length. So this is my sides here and then this is my length going this way. My curtains are gonna go up. This is gonna be my top. You can ch I could choose it the little circles to go up or down, but I choose them to go up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna line them here. And they're gonna lay in there just right. Okay, so what what it turns out that um, my liner is a little bit longer. I did this on the other one. I thought maybe it was just me, but but um, I thought maybe I mis miscalculated doing my other ones. But it looks like these are a little bit. These are half inch too wide, and it's a little bit like three quarters of an inch that way. So I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna go ahead and. Um, I'm gonna take off three quarters of an inch on that side and a half inch here. So since they're folded, let me take this curtain off. I don't know if you can see, uh, I'm gonna fold these in half. My width is about a half inch too much so I'm just gonna fold it in half and take it off and it doesn't have to be perfect you know as long as you pin it in there when you get it pinned in there as long as it's underneath the hem I want it to be right at the hem 
you know, at, right at my edge, but even if it's not right in there, it's okay. So I'm going to line it up. At my here. Okay, so and it doesn't have to be perfect, but as long because nobody knows what you're doing underneath. As long as it's you get your end result, it'll be all right. Okay, so I've got my edges. I need to take three quarters inch off on this side. You close? Yes. All right, so let me take off three quarters of an inch. No, this was, this is gonna be, I'm getting confused. Half inch on my side. Half inch on the side. Sorry, half inch. So we'll, okay, there's my half. I'm exactly at, for me it's 34 inches because that's what I need. So I'm gonna use my cutter. And so then on the other side, I'm confused because my husband just called me, threw me off. So, let me do it again. Okay, that's perfect, perfect. So the other one is three quarters. lay it back out. My husband called me and threw me off what I was thinking. Okay, so that's that. And this side I'm going to have to take off. It looks pretty good. Good. That's good. And actually that came out all right. Now that looks okay. I don't know why it didn't look right while ago for that one. All I needed to take off was that half inch on that side, looks like. Let me see, maybe. Lined up, lined up. Yep, perfect. Don't ask me how that happened. Okay, so I'm gonna go get that other curtain and make sure because it didn't look white while ago. My lighting isn't perfect. Yes. Okay. The two beiges on the outside. So, see how easy I get thrown off with a phone call? And my husband. Huh. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is sew the sides first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to 
I will sew the sides first uh, because you need the side sewn. So when you uh, sew for the curtains, you're gonna leave, you have to have this opening here for the rods. So you're gonna sew the sides first and then fold over for the rods and the hem. So these are the sides. I left this open already. I gave enough room so I can lay. This inside the hem. Let me take one out. Okay, so trying to work a little bit fast. So you don't have to. Okay, so there's the inside where I've ironed the line. You can see the line. Well, you can't see it, but just imagine you can see the line because when you when you iron it and you fold it over, you'll see it. Slide it along. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, put needles in there. I don't usually uh, use pins. Personally, I don't, I mean, not all the time. I used to, but pretty much I don't use them that much but for this I am because I don't want it to move because I'm gonna be sewing uh, both all the way around and you know we don't want this moving so there it goes I'm just gonna kind of pin it in place just so it doesn't move when I'm doing that and there goes that you see it's simple because I pre ironed it there's my lines I pre-ironed it, so I just lay it in there, put it in place. It lines up with the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'll take the pins out here, I'll lay it. Get my pins out. Stretch my fabric out, make sure. Now, when I, there you go, when I fold it in, it'll fall right in place. There we go. And then I'll just fold it over, pin it in place. Sorry, got my back to you. Sorry about that. I don't have it. I usually do this in my sewing room, but I needed the kitchen table. So, I, what I'm going to do is, since I have those lined up, I've had my sides uh, tucked under. I'm just going to do the up here. This is going to be the bottom, but it doesn't matter. Top bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and just at least pin in the center. So when I sew here, it won't you know, I'll be able to sew. So here's my bottom. I'll leave this open because I'll sew here and then I'll roll up my hem when I've got it off to the end. I'll just roll it up, roll these up, tuck them in and then sew along the bottom. And let me do the top. The top I have the one and a half inch that I, I allowed for, I allowed for one inch for the rod and half inch to um, 
just a tuck under. And so here goes, there's the... Got that. And I'm gonna put a pin for myself just all the way to the end of this side, just so I can get started. Just so I don't know where to start, get my hem going. And, there we go. And then we have the one and a half inch. Let me smooth it out, make sure it's smooth. like I did the other side so I can sew my two sides this is the one and a half at the top but for one inch I'm allowing this one inch for a rod so I'll sew the two sides at bottom then I'll roll over the top also after I've done my two sides roll it up and that'll be it to sew the very top and then after all four sides are done then you just put your rod in Put it inside the rod and there you go it'll all you know it's the same width as this it'll go there and it'll be like that again nice this set simple so i'll go sew it for you so you can see what i did let me take you to my sewing room sorry all this traveling Okay, so I'm in my sewing room now, and I don't have much room in here. I'm having to share. I have to share. My husband has his closet in here, so I have to share my sewing room. Okay, so I, I use my quilting foot. I like to use that. I use it on most everything, and... I might run out of bobbin thread. I didn't get prepared for this. And I am going to use my white thread. Okay, so it looks like I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna start on my sides. Okay, so here's my two inch it's actually a one inch hem but I've it's two inches but I rolled it in to make a one inch hem this is the side and it's going up to this my top and I'm just gonna do it this way since I've got you over there normally I would sew the other way and have my fabric on this side I might give it a well, let me do that Okay, so I've got my I know you can't see what I'm doing, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just sewing in along the edges. And I like to put in the needle position to stay down all the time even when I stop just in case for some. Okay. So here we go. I'm just gonna sew this. And it's just a straight fit. Oops. I don't like much room. Okay. There we go. Sorry, I don't have much room. <laughs> so... Anyway, here we go. This is the, um, here we go. 
I'm selling it on the edge. It's probably a quarter of an inch. I got my pins. Keep, a, keep it together so it doesn't move. A one inch. Okay. Get the pin out. I'm going to sew all the way to the end. Got one, one side. Once I've done, it's in there. So now I'm just going to do the other side. I hope I don't run out of bobbin thread. And okay, so now I'm just going to do the quarter inch on the other side along the edge of the hem. Fold this over so it doesn't hit you. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting close to the edge. I'm taking out the pins and I'm just going to hold on to it and sew all the way to the end. There we go. All right, that's the sides. I am going to, okay, here's the bottom, so I'll fold it over to one and two, make the one inch hem. Very simple. These are very simple, but they're so pretty. I have a kind of a, to me, I call it a country home, so I don't have to have something really fancy. I like the simple country home look. But it doesn't matter, you know, however pretty, however you want your curtains is how, wherever you live, whatever you want, just make them. Just, you know. These are beautiful, even though they're country. The fabric, I believe, is so beautiful. So I'm going to go back and forth a little bit, just so it doesn't come apart, you know, if anybody pulls on it or something. Okay, so, here we go. Okay. And this is the same, about a quarter of an inch from the bottom, from the hem. Just so straight fit. Hands out.
so it stays. I've already got the sign sewn. It all stays in place. here and it looks like I might have enough bottom to, the bottom to finish okay here's my top it under half inch I'm going to pin it just because I think I've stretched the fabric a little bit And it's just a half inch, so it doesn't really want to stay like if it was the one inch going all the way down to the hem, to the crease. So here for sure, I'll make a couple of back and forths because of where the rod's going to be. Okay, and so I'm going to hem all the way to the bottom. this a little bit maybe you, can, you can't still can't see but so there we go My little thread from when I started. Pull that off. Pull that in. I'm almost done. To the end, and then I'll do a couple back and forth. And voila, I still have bobbin thread left over. I can't believe it. Okay, so it's that simple. My first time doing it, but I just thought I'd show you because it was, I thought it was going to be so hard. But here it is, and so here's my other one. I'll see if I can turn you where you can see me. And I'm gonna take. I'll go ahead and put it on this end. Take that off there. Where's the top? This is the top here.
And it doesn't, I'm surprised it didn't come out real bulky. But, um, I thought it was going to come out really bulky because I had that, you know, come all the way up here. But it didn't come, it didn't. It's just because I didn't, um, I only did it up to the crease. I didn't make it all the way around or it probably, you know, it wouldn't have, um, it would have worked, I'm sure. But it would have made it too, kind of tight on the rod. And then you wouldn't be able to, to um, pull it in so much, I think. I'm pretty sure. There we go. My curtains. I'll go hang them up. And let's go see how that looks. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and hang these up. And I need to let it out a little bit. No. Let the curtains out a little bit. You have to, these you have to unwind a little bit. I don't know if you've ever used them. There we go. Bring them up a little bit. Bring them up a little bit here. The only bad thing about when you make wide curtain when you have wide curtains and you need something in the middle here. So what I might do is I might just tie some. Um, you can't nail anything in, so I'll probably just get. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll figure something out. But I got my curtains made, and they're about right. They come here. They'll come up a little bit more off the rug once I put something here in the middle to hold it up. I might have to put a nail up here with a little hook to hold it up. But voila, they're great. I'm happy with them. Very nice, simple curtains that are gonna keep the heat out. How do you like that? Let me turn on this other light. There we go. And there you go. And it's going to keep the sun out and the heat and even in the cold and there we go thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and to share and let's see what happens on my next video bye